Hey y'all, it's Lauren and my gigantic husband, Jimmy. I'm Jimmy, and we're gonna make the best damn sandwich I ever had. Yay! Let's go. Maybe you shouldn't cuss. Maybe I should, because that's what I <laughs> First, we're going to start off with sourdough bread. And what I do is get a middle slice, drop it on there, and I take this and I'll cut it in halfsies. Halfsies. And then grab some margarine, butter, whatever you want to call it. All this stuff we got at Aldi, and if you want to make the best ham sandwich you ever had, uh, all the ingredients are going to cost you about 16 21 or something like that. And you want to smear some fake butter on there. Come down. There you go. I'm good, Jimmy. <laughs> Your hand looks manly. Guess what? I'm a man. <laughs> smear that on there. And so then to get this nice and melty, I'm gonna throw in our air fryer for eh, about a minute. All right, after a minute in the air fryer, we're gonna take it out. That's just enough to get a little bit of toasty started. The bread is still soft, but the butter is just starting to melt, which is all we want. And we'll take and flip these over start to construct our awesomeness. So first thing, we're going to take this fried pickle ranch dip in place of mayonnaise or mustard or whatever, and we're going to use this. So you take some of this and spread it onto your bread like you would mayonnaise or mustard, whatever you. If you're looking to make the best damn sandwich, this is the what you're looking for. And I have a question. I'm not answering your question. I'm talking to the people. No, you're answering my question. <laughs> Jim, you better be nice or they're going to think that you're really mean to me. They're going to think that. But... And he's not, people. Though sometimes I have a hard time telling if he's upset or not. Yeah, I'm but not. anyways. Not Why is the butter now on the outside of the bread? Because I like grilled cheese with butter on the outside, not on the inside. Gotcha. It's, I'm going for that. And that's how it is. And if people don't like that. And they're not looking for the best damn sandwich ever. And I'm the kind of person that goes to Chick-fil-A and asks for extra pickles. That's right. So one thing I'm going to get is extra pickles. And I forgot to bring those out, so we're going to get those right now. I thought you were about to say you asked for extra butter. I'm like, you never ask for extra butter. Nobody asks for extra butter. Oh, I'm sure. If you're asking for extra butter, you're asking for extra medicines because you're going to eventually get sick. So I take... Five pickles and add to our pickle dip nazed best damn sandwich you're ever gonna make. And the reason I put it on a, a paper towel or whatever you wanna call it, napkin, is to get some of the juiciness off of it. Because we don't want it too juicy. Just mm -hmm. a little juicy. We don't like soggy sandwiches. You don't want too many drips when you eat it. So save time and waste trees. We're gonna appreciate their sacrifice for the best damn sandwich you've ever had. These environmentalists aren't gonna like you, Jimmy. They're not watching us anyway. That's true. All right, so the next thing is you take this, you put it onto the pickles. Actually, you don't have to do that step, but that's just what I'm doing because I'm saving a plate. We're going to take our ham, and the ham that we got is Black Forest. I hate ham. I'm not a ham eater, but this is the best ham sandwich I ever had and made. So that should tell you something right there. Oh, I just the barcode, honey. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> ham. Black Forest ham. Aldi. It's like four something. 
You want to get one, two, three-ish, four, five, six slices. And you take that and you're going to nuke that in the microwave for about 10 seconds just to bring it up to temperature. Now while it's being nuked, is that hand is it having chewy pieces in it? I hope not, because I hate chewy pieces. Me too. Once you start hearing it pop and sizzle and talk to you in the microwave, you can take it out. And it is ready. So now we'll take this, wipe some of the excess off of it. And we're going to place our sandwich bread there, our semi dried pickles. <laughs> Way to do it. You're in sound effects. You don't have to have them. <laughs> now you could just plop that on there like an animal, but I'm not that animal. So what I'm gonna do is take it and make it semi fancy like, like I went to a restaurant and spent a lot of money on this sandwich because it's the best damn sandwich you're gonna eat from Aldi or from anywhere, for that fact. I always tell Jimmy yeah. that like his sandwiches that he makes, they always look like gourmet sandwiches that you would find at a restaurant. He's always very particular and what's the word? Very particular. Meticular. Particular. 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 I don't know if particular is a word, but particular. That Meticulous weird. about how you present your food, even if nobody else is gonna see it. The the best and secret ingredient is the hottest ingredient. And it is hot, but with this sandwich and how I make it, you're not gonna taste the heat. So trust me, if you can find this at your Aldi, buy it. Try it. So we're gonna take this and put this on the semi. And good job for not just showing the barcode this time. Hey, anything for the people. It's falling apart, but is that piece. So it's habanero. It's just habanero cheese. What else is it? It's jack cheese or Monterey Jack cheese with habanero in it, kind of like pepper jack, but habanero. Um, habanero jack. After you mess with the cheese and stuff, after you get it going, don't rub your eyes. Wash your hands. If not, you will be singing and dancing and crying. So we're going to take this. I'm going to put this now in the toaster for about two minutes, just enough to start get this thing toasty and cheesy melty, and we'll be back. All right, so it just beeped, which indicates it's done. I'm going to take it out. I'm excited. Attempt not to burn my fingers. Plate it. Yum. And that is the best damn sandwich you will ever have. I guarantee it. If you try it and you don't, let me know because you're a liar. So if I don't like it, then I'm a liar? You're a liar. Okay. The lightning will come through the window and strike <laughs> you dead because you're a liar. Well, no, I'm not. You, you need somebody to be here and clean this house. And, and cook well, dinner. let me know when you start doing that. Hey. Oh my God! Hey now. All right, taste test. Let's go. Okay. All right, here goes the taste test of the best damn sandwich in the world. Hmm. Mmm. Saying that either. That's really good. The best damn sandwich you ever had. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the butter on that bread. Well, it's not technically butter, was it? The margarine. Mm. That pickle dip is really good on there. And it's not hot either. No, it's not hot. It's a nice I, don't, balance. I don't do hot. That's really good, Jimmy. Thanks. Mm. Thanks, babe. Best damn sandwich. Uh huh. It really is. I told him. So, I'm watching my calories, and I told him I wanted him to make this on the keto bread, but he basically persuaded me not to put it on the keto bread because it would not taste the same. And so, I'm glad I didn't have it on the keto bread. Even though it's good, you can't beat sourdough. Sourdough is really good. <laughs> It's still probably good on keto bread, but 
after your first experience. Well, thanks for watching. Try the best damn sandwich. It's like $16.21 for the ingredients. If you scratch it out to about 12 sandwiches, it comes out to about a dollar and something. If not, it's like $2 or something a sandwich. Try it, comment, share, like, subscribe, whatever you people are doing nowadays. We thank you. We love you. We'll see you in the next one.